heat transfer the heat transfer takes place according to second law of thermodynamics conduction is process of heat transfer from one particles of the body to another without the actual motion of the particles conduction is the process of heat transfer from one particles of the body to another by the actual motion of the heated particles this is a false radiation is the process of heat transfer which heat flows from a uh, straight line without affecting the intervening medium is a hot body to cold body the process of heat transfer from one particles of the body to another by actual motion of uh, the heated particles is called as convection the process of heat transfer from hot body to cold body is straight line uh, without affecting the inverting medium is called as true radiation the process of heat transfer from one particles of the body another called conduction when the particles of the body is the do not move actually in case of solid the heat transfer takes place according to radiation incorrect in case of liquids and gases the heat transfer takes place according to convection the heat transfer sun reaches to us according to radiation the transfer of heat by molecular collision is known as convection the transfer of heat by molecular collision in smallest in gases the heat is transferred by conduction convection and radiation in the boiler furnace the space between the two walls of thermos flask is evacuated because vacuum is a conductor of heat is bad the heat transfer from hot body to cold body directly proportional to the surface area then difference of temperature between the two bodies the statement is called as newton's law of cooling the transfer of heat from one body to another takes place only when there is temperatures difference between the bodies yes Fourier's law of heat conduction is Q is equal to Qf dt by dx. The amount of heat flow through a body is conduction is dash all of the above. According to Newton's law of cooling, the heat transfer from hot body to cold body is both A and B. Thermal conductivity of material may be defined as the all of the above. The unit of thermal conductivity in SI units is W by mk. The average value of thermal conductivity at what 20 degree centigrade saturated about 0.51 is true. The rate of heat flow through a body is Q is equal to K of T1 minus T2 by X. The terms X by K is known as thermal resistance. The rate of heat flow through a body is Q is equal to K of T1 minus T2 by X. In the term T1 minus T2 by X is known as temperature gradient S. The thermal conductivity of solid metals with rise in temperature decreases. A steam pipe is to be lined with two layers of insulating material of different uh, different thermal conductivity for the minimum heat transfer the better insulation must be put inside which of the following would lead the reduction in thermal resistance is all of the above a composite slab has two layers of different materials with uh, thermal conductivity k1 and k2 uh, if each layer has the same thickness then the equivalent thermal conductivity of the slab will be 2 k1 k2 by k1 plus k2 thermal conductivity of water with rise in temperature May may increases or decreases depending upon temperature. The thermal conductivity of air increases with rise in temperature. Correct. The heat transfer by conduction through a thick cylinder is given by Q is equal to 2 pi L K T1 minus T2 by 2.3 log of R2 by R1. The heat transfer by conduction through thick sphere is given by Q is equal to 4 pi K R1 R2 T1 minus T2 by R2 minus R1. The heat transfer by conduction through thick sphere same as through thick cylinder is false. The heat flow through a composite wall by conduction is uh, T1 minus T2 by, a, uh, by uh, sigma x by ka. The radial transfer of heat through a thick cylindrical is uh, 2 pi lk T1 minus T2 by 2.3 log of R2 by R1. The heat transfer by conduction through a thick sphere is B 4 pi k R1 R2 T1 minus T2 by R2 minus R1. The heat conducted in unit time across unit area through unit thickness when a temperature difference of unity is maintained as thermal conductivity. The overall coefficient of heat transfer is used in problems of conduction and convection. The unit of overall coefficient of heat transfer is W by meter square width. A film coefficient is defined as the ratio of thermal conductivity to equivalent thickness of the film of fluid. A cube at a high temperature is immersed at constant temperature both lie. Uh, losses heat from the top, bottom and surfaces with the heat transfer coefficient of H1, H2 respectively. The average heat transfer coefficient for the cube is 
this one is no thermal diffusivity of substance is given by h is equal to k by rho s the unit of thermal diffusivity is m square by h for s yes, law of heat conduction gives heat flow from one dimensional cases only the thermal diffusivity of for gases is generally those for liquids is greater than the thermal diffusivity for solids generally less than those for liquids and uh, gases is a for thermal diffusivity of a substance is all of the above thermal diffusivity is a physical property of substance the lowest thermal diffusivity is a dash rubber the highest thermal diffusivity is a lead lead sorry up to no oh, sorry the critical thickness of insulation is the ratio of thermal conductivity of insulation and uh, rail to the heat transfer coefficient at the outer surface of the insulation is the true up to critical radius of insulation added insulation will increase heat loss the critical radius is the insulation radius at which resistance to heat flow is minimum the critical thickness of insulation for a sphere is 2k by h which not the process of heat transfer from one particle to another by actual movement to uh, the fluid particles due to difference in density caused by temperature of the particles is known as free convection free convection flow depends upon all of this above The process of heat transfer from one particle to fluid another by actual movement of the fluid particles caused by some mechanical means is known as forced convection. A device used for transfer transferring heat from one fluid to another is called heat exchange. This is true. The use of heat exchangers is made in all of the above. The logarithmic mean temperature difference is given by Tm equal delta T1 minus delta T by log E of delta T1 by delta T2. The logarithmic mean temperature difference is the same as the arithmetic mean temperature difference is the degree. Um, in parallel flow heat exchanger, rate of flow of heat and rate decreases of the uh, temperature uh, maximum. Yes. In counter in co counter current flow heat exchanger, the logarithmic temperature difference between the liquids and fluids is compared to parallel flow heat exchanger is greater than. In counter current flow heat exchanger, sir, both the fluids at inlet in their hotter state. The automobile radiator is heat exchanger of cross flow type. The counter current to flow heat exchanger can transfer heat then parallel flow heat exchanger is more. A falling factor is used to in heat exchanger design as a safety factor. The ratio of actual heat transfer the maximum possible heat transfer is known as heat exchanger defectiveness I agree. In a shell and tube heat exchanger baffles are provided on the shell side is all of this. A heat exchanger with the heat transfer surface area A and overall heat transfer coefficient U uh, handles two fluids of heat capacity C max, C min. The number of transfer units entry used in the analysis of heat exchanger is specified as A U by C min. For evaporators and condensers for the given condition, the logarithmic mean temperature difference for a flow parallel flow is the counter flow is equal to. When TC1, TC2, the temperature cold fluid entry exists respectively TH1, TH2 uh, are the temperatures hot fluid entry exit point cold fluid lowest heat capacity uh, rate as compared to hot fluid the effectiveness of the heat exchange is given by TC2 minus TC1 by TH1 minus TC1. In a heat exchanger with one fluid evaporating or condensing the surface or uh, area required is least is dash all of this above. Which of the following statement is wrong? The thermal conductivity of solid metal increases with rise in temperature. The ratio of surface convection resistance to the thermal conduction resistance is known as biot number. The ratio of energy transferred by convection to the conduction is called as Nusselt number. The ratio of energy transferred by convection to the conduction is called Nusselt number. The free convection heat transfer transition from laminar turbulent flow governed by the critical value of this potential number is grass hope number. The thickness of thermal and hydrodynamic boundary layer is the equal to present number is present number is equal to one. The ratio of the thickness of thermal boundary layer, the thickness of hydrodynamic boundary layer is equal to potential number where n is equal to minus one by three. Reynolds number is the ratio of inertia force to viscous force. Reynolds number is uh, Rn is given by Rn equal to Pv1 by mu. Potential number P1 is mu n equal mu to Cp by K. Yes. Nusselt number is given by Nn equal HL by K. Right, correct. The ratio of the Nusselt number and the product of Reynolds number and the potential number is equal to standard number. 
द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ रिनल्स नंबर एंड प्रोडेंशियल नंबर इज नोन एज पी स्लिट नंबर ओके स्टैंडर्ड नंबर इज द फोर्स कन्वेंशन ग्रास फोप नंबर इज द नेचुरल कन्वेंशन हीट ट्रांसफर रिजल्ट नंबर इज द फोर्स कन्वेंशन विद स्मॉल पोटेंशियल नंबर नसल्ट नंबर इज द कन्वेक्टिव हीट ट्रांसफर द हीट ट्रांसफर बै रेडियशन ए मीडियम डज नाट रिक्वेर द अमौंट आफ रेडियशन मेनली डिपेंड्स अपन द आल आफ दिस ए पर्फेक्ट ब्लैक बॉडी इज वन विच अब्सर्व हीट रेडियशन आफ आल वेव लेंस फॉलोइंग ऑन इट um yeah, if the energy radiated per seconds per square meters with surface of wavelength lying between the mu and mu plus delta delta mu is represented by m is called as mc power in a black body all radiations are rejected the false the ratio of the energy absorbed by the body the total energy falling on it is called as absorptive power the emissivity of published silver body is as compared to black body is very low msc of body will equal to be absorbed at all temperatures no a grey body a grey body is one whose absorbed does not vary with temperature and wavelength of the incident ray this is the true which of the following is statement is correct at thermal equilibrium the msc between and absorbed are same the ratio of msc power of a body msc power of perfectly black body is called as msc vity this is the agree the msc vity for a black body is 1 no and infinity parallel planes with emissivity e1 e2 interchange fact of radiation from surface 1 and 2 surface 2 given by e1 plus e2 by e1 plus e2 minus e1 e2 when he is observed it rho is reflected and mu transformed within the diathermes body is the alpha plus rho equal to 1 and tau is equal to 0 when observed it reflectivity transmitted then the body is to be black body For white body observability, reflectivity, transmitted is equal to correct two. Uh, two long parallel, uh, two long parallel each is equal to zero point seven maintained. Uh, different temperatures are according to how radiation heat exchange between them. It is desired to reduce seventy five percent radiation. Heat transfer instead of thin parallel shield, it is equal to one on both sides. The number of shield should be three. The radiation emitted by a black body is known as all of the above. The wavelength of the radiation emitted depends only on the temperature and dependent of the material of the body is the true. The emissive power of a black body depends upon its all of these seven temperature, physical nature, wavelength, all of these. This is all of these. The ratio of the emissive power and absorbed power of bodies is the same, and the emissive power of the perfectly black body. The statement is known as Kirchhoff's law. The total radiation from a black body per seconds per unit area is fourth power of the absolute temperature. The statement is known as Stephens Boltzmann's law. is directly proportional to the wavelength corresponding to maximum energy inversely proportional to the temperature the statement is called no according to previous theory of exchange every body irrespective of temperature continuously emit heat radiation to the surrounding bodies at the same time receives the heat radiations from the surrounding bodies is true kirchhoff's law states that The ratio of MC power and absorbed power of all bodies in the same and to MC power of perfectly black body. According to Stephens Stephens law, the total radiation from a black body per second per unit area directly proportional to the fourth power of the absolute temperature. This is the right. Wayne's law states that the wavelength corresponding to the uh, proportional to the absolute temperature is the maximum energy. The value of wavelength maximum MC power of given by Wayne's law. According to Stephens Boltzmann's law, total radiation from black body per second per unit area directly proportional to the fourth power of the absolute temperature. The way, um, the unit of Stephens Boltzmann constant by watt per meter square Kelvin power of four. The expression Q is equal to rho e t power of four is called as Stephens Boltzmann's equation. Stephens Boltzmann law is applicable for heat transfer by convection. Do you disagree? Planck's law holds good for all colored bodies, right? Okay. Ratio of thermal conductivity of the equivalent thickness of the film of a fluid, a uh, film coefficient. A body which absorbs heat radiation of all wavelengths falling on is called as black body. Ratio of energy absorbed by a body to total energy falling on it is a absorptive power. Ratio of mc power of a body to the mc power of a perfectly black body is mc vity. Okay. Thank you.